Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today's Monday so it's meal prep day. I did not meal prep last week because I was traveling and I am very anxious to get back to meal prepping and I have three amazing recipes for you. We have breakfast, lunch, and a sweet treat. They're packed with protein, healthy ingredients, I'm really excited for them. So if you are excited to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below. I will link my recipe website. I will be tracking and building all of my recipes in the Trainist app. I'll tell you a little bit more about that before we start our meal prep. So I'll link that for you as well as links and discounts to my favorite things, nutrition coaching. If you'd like to get your personalized macros and calories done, that is how I lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. And my Facebook group, come join us. We'd love to have you. So let's get started on meal prep. So I've been getting a lot of questions about the Trainist app. You guys know that I've been loving it. It is a free calorie tracking app. It is a little bit newer to the market. However, they have added some amazing features over the last couple of months, and they're going to continue to add really great features. Check-in features, the option to find a personal trainer in your area. You can scan foods, build recipes, track your food, track your weight, customize your macros, everything in the Trainist app, and it is free. When I do my meal prep, I create the recipe in the Trainist app. So I add in all of the ingredients of the recipe, designate the serving size, and it's going to give me all the calories, fat, carbs, and protein for the recipes. And then I'm able to just track one serving in the app. It is so convenient and easy to be able to build the recipe and track all of my food directly in the Trainist app. So I'm going to show you exactly how I build recipes in the app, and then I simply track it from the built recipe. The recipe is always saved in the app. So if you ever make it again, all you have to do is search for that recipe and it'll pop right back up and you can track it super easy. So I definitely recommend the Trainist app and I will put a link to it directly down below for you. You can download it with an Android phone or an iPhone. Either type of phone will work. So highly, highly recommend. I've been really, really loving the app and it's been great to be able to support a new business and you can't be a calorie tracking app that's comprehensive for free. For breakfast this week, I'm making blueberry banana bread. I'm going to pair this with some type of protein, but I'm really excited for this. I've been kind of craving banana bread, and I think the blueberries are going to be a nice addition. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need ripe bananas, two or three medium. You need about a cup and a half of mashed banana, salt, protein powder of your choice. I'm going to use Clean Simple Eats Simply Vanilla. I really like this for baking. I would recommend either Clean Simple Eats or Devotion for baking. I'll link them both down below for you with a discount code, but we're going to need one scoop or one packet, frozen or fresh blueberries, baking soda, baking powder, vanilla extract, flour. I'm going to use the rest of my Fiber Gourmet flour. I did order some more. I really like this because it's 55% less calories, 50 calories, 17 grams of fiber, and it also has five grams of protein per quarter cup. So it's way less points in calories than regular flour, and you're getting fiber and protein. So I like to substitute this. I've baked with it time and time again. It bakes just like regular flour, just a better alternative to help get in fiber and protein. I do have a discount code for Nutrition. I'll also link that for you. And then you're going to need some sugar-free maple syrup. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my three bananas and mash those up. And then we're going to add half of a cup of sugar-free maple syrup, half of a cup of water, two teaspoons vanilla, and then stir to combine. Go ahead and add in your protein powder, one and a half cups of flour, salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder. And then stir to combine. And then for your blueberries, if you're using frozen like I did, just make sure that they're thawed, or again, you can use fresh, and we're just gently going to stir in that one cup of blueberries. Go ahead and spray your bread loaf pan with some nonstick cooking spray. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees, and then I'm just going to add my mixture into my bread pan. Look at how pretty that swirly pattern is of our bread. 
We're going to go ahead and put this into the 350 degree oven for about 50 minutes or until you can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. The blueberry banana bread is out of the oven. Doesn't this look absolutely incredible? It smells so good. It does make 12 servings. So once it's cooled, I'll slice it into servings. Most likely put it in a big gallon Ziploc bag, throw it in the fridge for the week. And again, I'm going to pair this with some protein for breakfast. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For my lunch this week, I'm making a chicken fajita casserole. So let me show you what you'll need. Fresh cilantro or dried cilantro, onion, one green pepper, one red pepper, one third less fat cream cheese. I'm going to use ground chicken. You can also use chicken breast, whatever your preference is. Fajita seasoning, light shredded cheese, and a can of black beans. The first thing I'm going to do is chop up my bell peppers, my onions, and my cilantro. So the first thing I'm going to do is brown my ground chicken. If you're using chicken breast, you'll want to dice that up and cook it through as well. Once it's browned, I'm going to go ahead and remove it to a bowl, and then we'll add in our veggies. So I removed the chicken from the pan, just put it on a paper plate, set it aside. We're going to spray our pan with some nonstick cooking spray and add in our green pepper, red pepper, and onion. And we're going to allow those to saute down until they're about 50% soft, and then we'll add in the fajita seasoning. Now we're going to add in our fajita seasoning mix, mix that together and allow those veggies to cook for just a couple more minutes. So I went ahead and added my softened cream cheese to a bowl. I'm going to add one cup of my shredded cheese, save the other cup to top the casserole with. And stir that together with the cream cheese. Look how good these veggies look. We're going to add all of those. And then we're going to add in our pound of cooked ground chicken and our can of drained and rinsed black beans. And then go ahead and stir all of that together until fully combined. Spray your nine by 13 baking dish with nonstick cooking spray. Here is our chicken fajita mixture. We're going to add that to the baking dish and then spread that out nice and evenly in the bottom. And then we're going to top it with the remaining one cup of shredded cheese. We're going to put this in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. The chicken fajita casserole is out of the oven. Doesn't this look absolutely incredible? I'm telling you, my house smells like a delicious Mexican restaurant. I did add some fresh cilantro to the top. That is optional. If you don't like cilantro, don't add it. You can also add sour cream, guacamole, whatever you would like, but I'll go ahead and put serving size points, calories, macros, here on the screen for you. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making protein brownies. Like I said in my grocery haul, I have been craving brownies, so I'm going to make a healthier version. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need all-purpose flour, baking powder, cocoa powder, vanilla extract, light butter. You could also use coconut oil or unsweetened applesauce, whatever your preference is. Some Lily's or no sugar added chocolate chips. I'm using Lakanto granulated. That's my go-to sweetener alternative. I do have a discount site-wide for Lakanto. I'll link it for you. A couple of eggs, salt, and then again, I'm using Clean Simple Eats Protein. This time, two packages or two scoops of chocolate brownie batter because brownie batter goes perfect to make brownies. And don't forget, I'll link Clean Simple Eats with a discount for you as well. To make the brownies is super simple. Everything's going into one bowl. So I have one cup of flour, two eggs, two thirds of cup of Lakanto granulated, third of a cup melted light butter, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, our two scoops or two packets of Clean Simple Eats brownie batter protein, and then I'm going to give that a quick mix before I fold in our Lily's chocolate chips. And now I'm going to fold in 200 Lily's Mix those just lightly, basically lightly fold those in, and then we'll be ready to put these in the oven. So super, super, super quick and easy. My brownie pan sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to go ahead and add my protein brownie mixture. 
And then I'm just going to spread that out nice and even in the bottom of the baking dish. These look incredible and they're going into a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. My protein brownies just came out of the oven. Oh my goodness, it, these also smell amazing. Look how thick and fluffy those are. You could add frosting to these. If you saw my recent grocery haul, I found some lower sugar frosting. I may add it. I may not, but I think these are going to be delicious just the way they are because they're packed with yummy gooey chocolate chips. So I'll go ahead and put serving size, macros, calories here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. Like I said, I'm really glad to be back to meal prepping. I'm truly loving the Trainist app. Again, I will link it down below for you. Very, very easy to build recipes track your food, know your macros and calories. And like I said, they are bringing out so many new features with the personal trainer portion, the check-in portion. I'm really excited to see what's to come in 2024 from the app and it is 100% free. So that link is in the description box along with my recipe website, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday friend. I hope you enjoy these recipes as much as I do. Thank you for watching. Bye.